I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. And let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent comments, and at times sharing some beautiful questions. This question comes from one of my students, Rohan. Rohan, thanks a lot for sharing this question and I hope its solution will help many others. So let us also keep in mind that this is for grade 7, 8 students, right? Now, Waterloo set of questions are really difficult and challenging. So let's try to see how to solve this question, keeping in mind that this question is to be solved by a grade 8 student. A group of baseball players decided to go out after their game or game to Good Eating Apps, a restaurant which serves famous potato crisps. They agreed to equally split the total cost of crisps. After everything was eaten, the bill amounting to $28 80 cents arrived at the table. Three of the players discovered that they had left their wallets at home. This was awkward, but the remaining players agreed to each pay 80 cents more to cover the missing amount. How many players were originally going to pay the post game snack? Excellent. Let's see how to find the solution of this question. Well, we know that the total amount was 28.80. Let us assume that the number of players are n, right? Let's assume there are n players. Then each will pay how much? They will share equally, right? That's what they decided. So that means 28.80 divided by n right so that was the first situation but then they discovered that this is up to this place right right now they were supposed to equally split the amount right so so the amount comes to this per person now what happens three persons cannot pay so the players agreed to each pay 80 cents more to cover the missing amount. So this covers for three players. Correct. So 80 cents more than this, right? So that really means that now we have three players payment will be how much? Let's write down three players should have paid three times 28.80 over n, right? Each is paying that much. So three will pay this much. And this is equal to what? Well, this is equal to what others paid. That means n minus three paid 80 cents. This is equal to 80 cents times n minus three. Since three did not play, rest of them paid 80 cents extra. You get the idea, right? So that is how we kind of link them. So I hope this concept is clear. So let's again discuss this, right? So what we're trying to say here is that there were three players who could not pay and that amount was shared by N minus three players by paying 80 cents each, correct? And three players should have paid how much? They should have paid three times 28.80 divided by n, as that was the shared amount. Right. Now, three players payment is made by all except three by paying 80 cents. So it becomes like this. Do you see that? So I hope now the equation is clear. Now let us simplify this equation, right? Okay, now these numbers are pretty good numbers. You can divide 28.80 by 0 0.8, right? So what, 
what do you get? So dividing by 8, we get 3 times 8 times what? 8 times 3 is 24, then you get 48, so 36. So you get 36 over n equals 2 n minus 3. So what I did was I divided both sides by 80 cents, right? So we get much simpler equation. Now, we know n has to be a whole number, right? So n belongs to, we'll write whole numbers. This is a symbol which says n is a natural number, you can say, right? Okay, so n is like number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. It cannot be a fraction. So what number will satisfy this equation? This is what we have to figure out. Second, we also know it has to divide in 36, right? So, so this portion which you are looking at, 36 over n, tells you that n could be factor of 36, right? So n could be 1, 2, 3, 4, it could be 6, it could be 9, it could be uh, 12, right? So these are the possible numbers which n could have. So that you do not get a decimal number, you're getting the strategy. So what you should do at this stage is try out these numbers and see how both sides are equal. So what we figure out that if I try n as 12, if I try n as 12, then what happens? See, then on the left side, I get 3 times 36 divided by 12, right? And on the right side, we get 12 minus 3, and both are actually equal to 9. Do you see that? 12 goes 3 times, and 3 times 3 is 9. So, so n equals to 12 is the answer, right? So, number of persons which I agreed earlier to pay is 12. Does it make sense to you, right? Now, those of you who have learned quadratic equations, they could actually form an equation from here and then solve, right? So we get 3 times 36, 6 times uh, 3 is 8, and we get 108 here over n equals to n minus 3, cross multiply. So we get 108 equals to n square minus 3n, and then bring them all together, 0 equals to n square minus 3n minus 108. Eight. Now, 108 is 12 times. Yes. So, that gives you the answer. Correct? So, so we get our answer because um, 3, when you add two numbers, you have to get 3. And when you multiply, you should get 108. So, it is 12 times 9. Correct? So, we could write this as 0 equals to n minus 12. Bigger number has to be negative times n plus 9. And that clearly gives you the answer, which is which is 108, uh, which is 12, right? So from here, you get n equals to 12 as your answer. Is that clear to you? So if you know quadratic equations, right, which at this level, normally students will not know, then you could solve it, your equation like this. But at this stage, I'll prefer that you try it out. Remember, n is a whole number, right? So we do not want any decimal numbers. 36 divided by n indicates that n could only be these possible values. And n has to be more than 3. So you don't have to really try many values. These are your possible set of solutions, correct? You know n is more than 3. So all of these, 12 fits in, and that becomes the solution. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, and all the best.